Hello, everyone, and welcome to the PB. I am your host today, today to afternoon to evening, whatever time it is for you. I am your host today. I am A.U. Gold, as usual for these award showcase shows. See quite a few people in chat. Some Bailey, there's some Loki, Dogwood Maple, WFM, Shaq's in the house. So hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to... <laughs> I am not real. That's actually true. Welcome to the season thirty-eight award showcase. Um, oh, hey, there's me, cool as well. Um, yeah. So, welcome to the award showcase. As per usual, I am back for I don't know how long I've been doing the award showcase in a row now, but uh, I'm back again doing the award showcase. So, yay me! Um, and we're all here on this lovely Sunday. For me, Sunday bright and early in the morning. It is 10 a.m. right now here. I know 1 a.m. Eastern for those on the East Coast. So bright and early here in the morning for me. Still waking up. But it is time for the award showcase. Time for us to take a look back on season 38. See who gets some very fun, very fun awards, who makes it into the Hall of Fame, who gets most dedicated member, uh, all of that fun stuff that we do here on the Award Showcase Day. With that said, we'll go ahead and dive in. As per usual, the start of the Award Showcase is going to be the Hall of Fame inductees. Every season we do this, we start with the Hall of Fame inductees who previous players that have since retired who have made it to the Hall of Fame. Generally speaking, that 30 war mark is what most of our voters tend to look for. Have a good career, have around 30 war, you have a good shot of making it into the Hall of Fame. So with that said, we're probably looking at... Uh, Jeez, I, I mean, I don't even know the rules anymore. Probably looking at, like, season 33 and before uh, players. I don't know. I think we have, like, a five-year mark on um, players potentially making it into the Hall of Fame. So looking at past players who have recently retired um, not too far back. With that said, our first Hall of Fame inductee is going to be a lemon. Just a lemon. Burger, bergamo lemon. In that 36 war, war for his career. Uh, and I stand corrected here. Looks like about four seasons is our time for uh, retirement there as five-time All-Star in 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. Silver Sluggers in 28 and 33. And eight gold gloves spanning all the way back from 27 through 34 with no breaks in an eight gold glove streak in his career. Almost 1,300 hits, just shy of 100 homers. But that 36.2 war is that big, big general indicator for making the Hall of Fame. So congratulations to Bruised Our Lemonade. Or sorry, Bergamo Lemon. Jeez. <laughs> Already getting people mixed up, and it's not even the start of the season yet. Jeez. Why do I still do this? <laughs> Bergamo Lemon, congratulations to the Hall of Fame. We move along here to our second Hall of Fame in Duck T. Second Hall of Fame inductee is going to be Kirk Swerve. Swerving his way from the streets onto the Hall of Fame uh, parking lot, I guess, is the metaphor I was going there for. 44.6 total war in his career. 15, nearly 1,500 hits. Almost 200 home runs. But, in all honesty, we're looking at a 10-season streak of making an All-Star. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 10 seasons straight, 9 silver sluggers, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 
one gold glove in season 33, and then two-time PBE champion with the Voyagers in seasons 24 and 25. Over 500 stolen bases, sitting just over 800 OPS. Kurt Swerve definitely, definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame with all those accolades, and does make it with a 44.6 war. <clears throat> <laughs> when life gives you bergamot lemons, you make Bruce start lemonade. <laughs> there we go. There's the saying of the stream today. <clears throat> so, bergamot lemon and Kirk Swerve are our first two Hall of Fame inductees. For our third Hall of Fame inductee, we're going to have Mike Litteris, the name that rocked the PBE upon creation all the way back, looking in barely double digits, S17, the first time of making an all-star. 31.9 total war, 600 RBIs, 150 stolen bases, 150 home runs, just shy of 1,500 hits. All-stars in 17, 18, 19, 23, 24, and 27. Rookie of the year, in S17 Gold Glove in Season 25, and PBE Champion in 1926 and 27. <clears throat> so add on to Lemon and Swerve, Litterus makes it in as well. Solid career, solid career. So with three Hall of Fame inductees, we move on to our fourth. Hall of Fame inductee number four is going to be Richie Bonanza. It's like a singular New Orleans Rougarou as the only team. 31.5 war. Um, over 700 RBI, 209 home runs, over 1,000 hits. Six-time All-Star, going all the way back to Season 18. Two-time Gold Glove in 25-26, and BBE Champion with the Rougarou in Season 23. Richie Bonanza making his appearance here in the Hall of Fame stage with just under 800 OPS. But again, it's that 31.5 war that's going to get you into the books. So we have Lemon, Swerve, Litterus, and Bonanza as our first four Hall of Fame inductees. That's going to bring us on to a potential number five. Um, I don't know if number five is going to exist, but no. Um, we are going to now see our Hall of Fame inductee for a general manager. It's going to be Eldorian making it into the GM Hall of Fame in this season. GM, longtime standing GM of New Orleans. Definitely pops into chat from time to time. Seen him here quite often. Seaman management going here and there. But Eldorian making GM Hall of Fame for the PBE. Oh, I've probably been saying it incorrectly. <laughs> El I think it's actually Eldorian, but I'm terrible at pronouncing things, and you all know this. You all have been here for me not being able to pronounce pretty much everything in the league, so don't take me saying things as... Uh, as for sure how it's pronounced to Eldorian congratulations on general manager of the year uh, anyone else or not general manager of the year general manager hall of fame um, any other hall of fame inductees Bo Sox 727 for a general manager as well general manager hall of fame Bo Sox long standing sloth uh, GM I mean, even look at that that logo. Look at look at the profile picture Bo Sox has. It's literally just a sloth. 
think Bosox is the sloths as much as Juosu is as well. Congratulations, Bosox. Welcome to the GM Hall of Fame. A U streamer professional name pronouncer mispronouncer, exactly a ticket online. Any other Hall of Fame inductees here in season thirty-eight? No, that is the end of our Hall of Fame inductees. So we had Lemon, Swerve, Litterus, um, Elrian, Bosox, and one more player that I have already forgotten off the top of my head um, that made it into the Hall of Fame. So congratulations, everyone, and that's going to move us on to talk about individual awards for uh, Silver Slugger, Gold Glove, Reliever, Pitcher, and so on and so on uh, for the, the different things. But first, there's our OBX hype in chat for OBX winning the World Series here in Season 38 as we wrap this season up and start Season 39. Congratulations, OBX. Mostly saying that to myself. <laughs> Bailey and, and WFM here are, as well, are here as well, so is unconfident. <clears throat> but congratulations to OBX. <laughs> Congrats, Gold. Yay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that said, we're going to jump into the individual awards here, starting with the Legends Conference for Silver Slugger. Streamer bias doesn't mispronounce OBX. There you go. <clears throat> As we have done in the past with Silver Slugger, <clears throat> start at catcher, go around the infield, into the outfield, gold glove, same thing, and then into all the individual awards. So, <sighs> Silver Slugger for the Legends Conference, we are starting here at catcher. <clears throat> Yeah, apologies, folks. Um, having a little bit of, of throat issue again. It's been on and off. But Bobby Roode is going to be your Silver Slugger winner here at Catcher. That is going to go to Pow. Bobby Roode for Silver Slugger Legends Catcher Award winner. <clears throat> Shrub, Denstro, and Kalian all uh, follow there behind Pow. So Pow and Bobby Root take the first Silver Slugger for the award showcase. With that, we move on to first base. First base Silver Slugger is going to go to... What the heck? There we go. Kevin Larson. Sen, who is in chat predicting the win. Kevin Larson does indeed take it. Kevin Larson beating out Chovy, Incarnacion, Brennan, Frobicobi, and Alligator. But there you go, Sen, taking your Silver Slugger. So after first base, we move on to second base. Second base, Silver Slugger is going to go to Ezra Oatmeal. Wolfzilla beating out Richard Diamond, Justice, Fuse, and Newman. But Ezra Oatmeal takes Silver Slugger for second base. We've had a crab, 
fed a surge and a sloth so far. Taking awards each. With that, we move on then to third base. Third base Silver Slugger is going to go to Jack Condor. Jack Condor being out to Moose, Eshelman, Hayes, and Mick Sticks. Condor taking the Silver Slugger at shortstop. Is that a bird? Sure. <laughs> and it's going to put us into shortstop. So shortstop Silver Slugger is going to go to... Who the heck is this guy? What the heck? He's, this guy's not supposed to win anything. Where's the script? I got my script here. Yeah, it says this guy's not supposed to win stuff. What the heck? Schneider had his season. And it truly was Schneider's season. Taking Silver Slugger over Stargasm, Honda, Justice, and Stern. Congratulations, Schneider and Anik. I am actually surprised. <laughs> So congratulations to Schneider. With that, we move along to left field. Left field Silver Slugger is going to go to TGP. <clears throat> On the side of the Voyagers there. TGP taken Silver Slugger. Beating out Dup, Q, McDonald Jr., and Ortega in left field. That'll take us into center field. Center field Silver Slugger is going to go to... Ah, what the heck. He's not supposed to, He's not allowed to win anything either. Gosh darn it. JR Frankenstero taking Silver Slugger in center field. Mr. Punk making fun of me all the time. Takes Silver Slugger. That's going to beat out Albies, Fielder, Kamoon, and uh, Beecham Reyes. Uh, Punk is luckily not around. Yeah, fi who? Seriously, I had the script. Look, look. The script is like one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like ten pages long, and somehow we got it wrong. Frustrating, you know? Punk takes Silver Slugger in center field. Congratulations. Going on to right field. Right field Silver Slugger is going to go to Big Vito Da Goompa. <laughs> Script Niners M. Night Shyamalan. No wonder I'm so scared. <clears throat> Big Vito is going to take right field Silver Slugger over McGuire and Stradley. Vito taking Silver Slugger and right. That's going to send us on to Designated Hitter for the Legends Conference. So Designated Hitter here in the Legends is going to go to Marcus Emerson. Another OBX Aviator. So Emerson taking Silver Slugger over Martina, or Ramirez, Martinez, Rage, and Gonzalez. So, X Flexi taken designated hilver, hitter, silver, slugger. <laughs> Do 
I just love it when you randomly get votes and you're like, what? I was not expecting this whatsoever. All right, that's going to wrap up our silver sluggers. So we're going to move on to gold glove and do the same thing, starting at catcher around the infield into the outfield. Then designated silver slugger is going to be a hotly contested uh, award to th this season from what I've seen of the stats. So we'll keep an eye on that. But we're going to start here with silver slugger at catcher. We're going to start with gold glove at catcher and then go from there. So gold glove at catcher for the Legends Conference is going to go to Tunch Denstro, T. Denstroyer, current member of the uh, the Prospect League team, Prospect Showcase League. Denstro takes Gold Glove there over Rude, Kim, Longpipe, Mills, Shrub, Palidorus, and Kaylee. Denstro taking the whim. That'll send us on to first base. First base gold glove is going to go to Kevin Larson again. Larson taking over Silver Slugger and Gold Glove at first base for the Legends Conference. So Larson sweeps. That's going to beat out Incarnacion, Chovy, Brennan, and Dan King Jr., who just wanted to make an appearance. <laughs> That'll move us on to second base. So second base gold glove is going to go to Based Ball. Baseball C. Petrilla. Barely beating out Fuse, Diamond, Newman, Calavera, and Sax Justice. Baseball takes Gold Glove at second base. That's going to go to third base here. So third base gold glove is going to go to Joe Shiesty Jr., AK-41, a Providence Crab. Beating out Condor, Asui, and Hayes. AK takes the gold glove at third. I'm going to move us on to shortstop. So shortstop gold glove here in the Legends Conference is going to go to Styles Stern, also known as Ted Stern. Taking the win there. At shortstop over Flannaball, Honda, Schneider, and Snack. <laughs> so Stern takes the gold glove there at shortstop. Almost is saying that like it's the end of the award showcase. Does that mean I can leave? Bye, everyone. Congrats to all the winners. See you guys later. But Stern takes shortstop gold glove. We move on to left field. Left field gold glove here in the Legends Conference is going to go to JQ. Opera Phantom beating out McDonald Jr., Dup, Ball, and Mustard. Mustard, mustard, mustard. But JQ takes gold glove in left field. Send us into center field. 
Center field gold glove is going to go to Nick Fielder. <laughs> it's a taco cat. It's a cat with a taco on it. It's pretty cute. It's a pretty cute cat. Uh, but Nick Fielder takes the gold glove in center field, just barely beating out McGruff, Beecham Reyes, Dynamiti, and Frankenstero. But look at how cute that cat is. He's just looking at looking at the camera like, why did you make me wear this taco? I shall kill kill you, human. Yeah, it's an adorable kitty cat. Love it so much, I want to give it all the scratches. But Nick Fielder <coughs> takes gold glove there in center field. Taco cat. Taco cat. Congratulations, Nick Fielder. That'll move us on to right field gold glove. Right field gold glove is going to go to Dustin Johnson. Dustalation's going to take gold glove there in right field, beating out McGuire, McNasty, Stradley, Pilsudski, and Wizard. So Dustin Johnson, now retired, takes gold glove in right field. It's Dustin time. Congratulations, Dustin. Congratulations. Winning gold glove in right field. It is weird seeing him, not seeing him in, in Providence gear. It's very strange. That's what happens when you retire. That we move on to gold glove for designated hitter, and I believe gold glove for designated hitter is going to go to AJ. Oh, hmm, wait a minute. Weird. I'm not quite sure what to uh what to think about that. That there's a there's no, the, the 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 slide's not there. Um. <laughs> Rookie of the year is where we go to next. Rookie of the year for the Legends Conference is going to go to Phil Donahue on the Vandals. Phil Donahue beating out Johnson Jr., Blizzy, Accept Your Welcome, Dragon, Brennan, Williams, uh, Something Junior, Forbes, something Junior, uh, Gonzalez, and Duck. But Phil Donahue is going to take Rookie of the Year. Congratulations to Phil Donahue. Bill Donahue, Rookie of the Year for the Vandals. With that, we're going to move on to Reliever of the Year. I have a... I have a suspicion on who wins Reliever of the Year this season. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's... uh. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Reliever of the year for the Legends Conference is going to be Becky Quinn for the Aviators. Donahue just behind Quinn. And then out of Lemonade. See, there's Bruce Dar Lemonade. I knew he would be on this, this slideshow somewhere. And then Maurer, Dr. Hugo, Beatty, Sanchez, DePoyo, Blizzy, Murley, and Berger. Becky Quinn takes reliever of the year for the Aviators. She had a really good season. <laughs> uh, 
It's Becky Quinn. Takes reliever of the year. It's going to move us on to pitcher of the year. I think who even in the Legends had a good pitching season. So at least the people that I know off the top of my head. Pitcher of the year. Oh, the Scud thinks they're going to win it. Ooh. Hmm. Pitcher of the year for the Legends Conference is going to go to Wendy Marvell. So Wendy winning both designated designated hitter gold glove and pitcher of the year. The pitcher of the year going to Wendy Marvell over Mitchell, Morgan, Ron Lane, Azuaji, Bladen Crab, Sanchez, Quinn, Otto, and Catcher. Sixth pitcher in PBE history to win back-to-back -back pitcher of the years. Very fun, very fun. Is Wendy a cat girl? No, those are it's like a yeah. Those aren't ears. Like a little uh, it's like a little bow tie or something coming out behind the behind the head. Yeah, like there yeah, you go. Hair clips is a good way to, to say it. Yeah, no, they they hold the bow tie up. They hold the little ponytails. It's very much not cat ears. <laughs> but Marvell takes Pitcher of the Year. Congratulations, AJ. That's back to back for you. Now we move on to MVP. MVP for the Legends Conference. Could potentially. B. Larson having won Silver Slugger and Gold Glove at first base. Could be Marvell winning Pitcher of the Year. But MVP for the Legends Conference is going to be. I don't think it could be Schneider. That doesn't make any sense. Wow, it's going to be Frankenstero. I am a little shocked. I'm just a little surprised on that. Frankenstero is going to take MVP over Marvell, and then Vito, Rude, TGP, Morgan, Mitchell, Larson, Condor, and Quinn. I am a little shocked by that. Frankenstero taking MVP. Congratulations, Punk. Like with the one day you're not in chat. <clears throat> one day Punk's not in chat to make fun of me. And he gets MVP. Crazy. So Frankenstein takes MVP. that we're going to move on to the gm of the year for the legends conference generally this goes kind of to whoever wins the world series or makes the world series or a playoff team so i would not be surprised if this were outer banks at uh, that yep <laughs> Woo. AW and Bailey winning GM of the year for Outer Banks with Buffalo. Honestly, Buffalo deserves a little, I would say, a few more points than that, having turned around their team and having a winning season. Uh, but then Vancouver, New York, Boise, and San Antonio getting votes as well. So GM of the year goes to Outer Banks. <laughs> so congratulations Bailey and AW my GMs did fantastic putting the team together and it's going to be a fun couple seasons I'm excited to see Buffalo continue to charge as well glad to see them finally making some winning seasons having some fun and Vancouver New York constantly good teams Boise San Antonio as well <clears throat> 
I have been tagged again. Why was I tagged? I'm being tagged. Oh. With that, we're going to go on to the Champs Conference for Silver Slugger. The Silver Slugger for the Champs Conference. So the Legends done, moving us on to the Champions Conference. Same idea. Catcher through the infield. Gold Glove, catcher through the infield. Individual wards, then down to the minor league. So Champions Conference for Silver Slugger is going to go to... Eddie Gar. Eddie Gar for the Rougarou. <coughs> Beating out Halverson, Case, Kropokrasov, and Salmon Arms. Eddie Gar for Silver Slugger at Catcher. Hello, move is on to first base, so first base Silver Slugger is going to go to Will Love. Will he love me? No, he never loves me. Gonna beat out Power, WC, and Esquilito. Who did the rendering? It's always Sonic. Sonic always does the entire award show on his own. So Will Love takes Silver Slugger over the uh, the AI himself. <laughs> That's going to put us on to second base. So second base, Silver Slugger. Second base, Silver Slugger is going to go to Bob Babbitt Person. <clears throat> so Bob Babbitt person takes Silver Slugger at second base over Beef Rye, Wolf, and Peter Oatmeal. That'll move us on to third base. Third base, Silver Slugger is going to go to Jose Sloth Seiko. Sloth Face Killer. Beating out 43 Senior, Nelson, Wall, and Kuma. Face of the franchise, Sloth Seiko, face of the PBE. At least for last season. So Sloth Seiko, taking Silver Slugger. That'll bring us on to shortstop. Silver Slugger at shortstop is going to go to Mike Forbes Jr., C-Does-It. 
over Kind, Sov, and Lehi. C does it. Take in Silver Slugger at the shortstop. That'll take us into left field Silver Slugger. Left field Silver Slugger for the Champions Conference is going to go to the new GM Hall of Fame member, Eldorian, and his player, Park Factors. I know a cat who delivers tacos. <laughs> but Park Factors taking Silver Slugger in left field. Beating up Burnside, Morgan, Williams, and Kairou. Now it'll put us into center field. Center field, um, Silver Slugger for the Champions Conference is going to go to Max Benningsen. Argnisi. Beating out Lutz, Knox, Dion, McLobber, and Erickson. Hey, there's Argon, you see. Congrats, man. Silver Slugger, center field. He looks excited to be there. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> That'll go to right field now. So right field Silver Slugger for the Champions Conference is going to go to Houston Hayes, Musha. New Majors GM. Hayes beats out Bonds and Dubson for Silver Slugger. <laughs> so Houston Hayes taking Silver Slugger in right field. They'll bring us on to designated hitter. So designated hitter, <coughs> silver slugger. Thank you, Ken. Designated hitter, silver slugger is going to go to Ryan Cacao. <coughs> Tristan taking silver slugger there, beating out Andrews, Slammer, and Duncan. Ryan Cacao with the Silver Slugger. All right, that will send us on to uh, Gold Glove Awards. The Gold Glove Awards here in the Champions Conference. As usual, starting with catcher and making our way around. So, gold glove at catcher. Gold glove at catcher is going to go to just in case. Catcher for the Space Rangers, just in case, beating out Eddie Gar. Halverson, Kropokrasov, Yeppers, and Salmon Arms. So 
just in case, taking the Gold Glove win. Swifties legend. <clears throat> That'll push us on to first base. So first base silver slugger, or for, sorry, first base gold glove is going to go to rock out with her crocs out. 209 tacos, absolute legend in the uh, graphics department. Crocs out taking another gold glove, beating out Granholm, Alvarez, Escalito, Power, and Oil Can. Crocs out, taken, gold glove. <sighs> Push us into second base. Second base gold glove is going to go to haagen CJ, the M16, taking the haagen for gold glove, beating up Beef Fry, Peter Oatmeal, Wolf and Berserker. A scorpion taking gold glove at second base. That'll push us into third base. <laughs> Oh, I, that's actually really funny. Yeah, it's either ice cream, a beef sandwich, or oatmeal. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Uh, but we're going to push us on to third base. So third base gold glove in the Champions Conference is going to go to Jose43 Senior. Van. Van taking the win there. Beating out Rake in the Lake and Apollo. All right, and now Van's super excited. Now, uh, whoa, kitty cat, no need to scream at me, jeez. Now we have to actually take the award away from Van. I think he's too excited. We uh need to temper his his expectations. Hunter. There you go. Sorry, I'm trying to get my cat to stop eating stuff. <laughs> okay, she's not interested in me. Uh, that's going to put us into shortstop. So shortstop gold glove here in the Champs Conference is going to go to Ness Kind and his wild face gen. <laughs> This wild, wild face gen for Neskind and Miss Obvious, but Neskind takes Gold Glove, beating out Forbes Jr., Sung Jr., and Sov. Cat wandered off. So Neskind. Neskind takes the win. We're going to go into left field gold glove. So left field gold glove is going to go to Mika Williams for the stars. Mika Williams taking gold glove there in left field, being out Kairu and factors. Mika Williams taking gold glove. That'll send us into center field. Center field gold glove is going to go to Wilkins McClobber. Wilkins McClobber being out Erickson, Knox, and Salamanca. So an 
Clobber taking Gold Glove in center field. <laughs> Oof. Well, it happens. Put us into right field. Right field Gold Glove goes to Matt Dubson. Matt Dubson beating out Cookie Monster, Kochan, and Bonds. Another Space Ranger. Congratulations, Matt Dubson in right field. It's going to send us on to designated hitter gold glove. And if my uh, information is correct, the designated hitter gold glove for the Champions Conference is also going to go to AJ. They just keep forgetting to put the slides in here. I don't know why. It's weird. They really need to put the gold glove designated hitter slides in. I don't know why they're not there. But we do move on here to Rookie of the Year for the Champions Conference. Rookie of the Year Champions Conference. Rookie of the Year is going to go to Rake Slammer. That boy takes Rookie of the Year for the Scorpions. Beating out Claw Daddy, Dion, Space, Hollywood, Bader, Multoid Man, Kulik Warren, Haddock, or Hadlock, Hammer, Boris, and Littlefield. Rake Slammer slammed the rake and takes the win for Rookie of the Year. Rake Slammer. After Rookie of the Year, we're going to move on to Reliever of the Year. Reliever of the Year coming out of the bullpen here for the Champions Conference. The Reliever of the Year is going to go to Cassius Bright, a New Orleans Rougarou. Cassius Bright beating out Manorite, Bravo, Beckett, Town, Singh, and Page. <clears throat> that unanimous? I have no idea. So Cassius Bright takes reliever of the year. It's going to send us on to Pitcher of the Year. So Bright is a potential option. Usually that's not the way it goes, but Pitcher of the Year. Pitcher of the Year is going to go to Ooh, Cassius Bright. Cassius Bright does take Pitcher of the Year as well as Reliever of the Year. Beating out Ryden Dirty, Jones, Aria, Into Dirt, Benjamin, Wright, and Parton. <clears throat> that is wild. Reliever winning both pitcher and reliever of the year is not common. That is insane. Kind of wild. So Bright takes pitcher and reliever of the year, which does mean that they are available here to be voted for for most valuable player. I mean, everyone's available to be voted for, but generally it's kind of award winners. So this is going to be interesting. Most valuable player does Cassius here sweep. Reliever, pitcher, and MVP 
for this season. Let's find out here for the Champions Conference. The MVP is going to go to Eddie Gar. Catcher there for New Orleans. Eddie Gar beats out Rye. Factors. Bright. Coming in fourth. Rabbit Person. Dirty. Aria. Johnson. Rither Crocs out. Halverson. Love. And Benningson. So Gar takes MVP for the Champions Conference. That's going to send us on to GM of the Year here for the Champions Conference. GM of the year for the Champions Conference is going to go to Lunar Base. Turning Sarasota, or what used to be Sarasota, around and sending them into the playoffs this season. Lunar Base takes GM of the year over New Orleans, Nashville, Seattle, Death Valley, and Detroit. Congrats to Dirk and Shu for GM of the year. So Lunar Base, Dirk and Shu take GM of the Year. Congratulations to the two of you. All right, that's going to send us on to the minor leagues. A lot of our rookies, a lot of our younger players get excited for this portion of the show. Minor League World Champions, the Swift Steeds, led by Anique and Unconfident there in the minor leagues. And a crazy thing of both of those players also having been on Outer Banks to win the World Series there too. So some fun times there. But nonetheless, Swift Steeds take the win. Ah! Oh, uh, you guys can just hear it. You can't see it because I, uh, I'm smart. But the Swift Steeds take the minor league world champions. But we are not here for that. I mean, we are. Congratulations there. But we are here for the Silver Slugger. What did I do, Shu? Oh. <laughs> Shu, quickly. You need to get on Slack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> really, really funny. <clears throat> uh, so we move on to Silver Slugger here for the minor leagues. And for those that are new or are maybe taking the majors as a sign of how this runs for the minor leagues, we do not have the divisions. For the minor leagues, everyone is on the potential to win Silver Slugger and Gold Glove. We do not have a split between West Division, East Division, how it looks in the file. This is purely every single player is potential to win the nine so or the ten Silver Sluggers and the nine Gold Glove awards. So, Silver Slugger <clears throat> for the minor leagues. Catcher Silver Slugger is going to go to Banana Boom. I saw Shaq earlier here in chat. Bananan Boom takes the Silver Slugger there at Catcher over Ladley, Blue Sky, and one of the 18 bajillion codes. That lemur good? I don't see Shaq anymore. Maybe they're too hyped to say anything. But Bananan Boom. Takes the win there at catcher for Silver Slugger.
that's going to send us on to first base. First base Silver Slugger is going to go to LBG and his player John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt because that name, folks, is my name too. But Schmidt takes the win there at Silver Slugger over Dog, Josh, and Lenakai. Or Lenakai. But John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt takes the win at first base Silver Slugger. Yeah, my my name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Is that your name too? So congratulations, LBG. What in Silver Slugger? Oh, well, no, my name's not John. <clears throat> my name, my first name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. We're going to move on to second base here for Silver Slugger. So second base Silver Slugger is going to go to Rake Hard. Crooked Ant taking second base Silver Slugger. Rake hard over Koala Kyle and Brandable Ostman. Congratulations to Rake Hard. It's going to send us on to third base. Third base Silver Slugger is going to go to corner vacuum <laughs> I love this picture <laughs> it's fantastic so corner vacuum takes third base silver slugger over emeritus Hulk of Otto, and Mitchell and a little smile on its face it's adorable corner vacuum takes silver slugger at third base fantastic face gen That's going to go to shortstop. Shortstop Silver Slugger is going to go to Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Beating out Fresca, Fast Track, Jackson, Lewis, and Brooks. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> How have I not seen this player's name in the league? In the... In the <laughs> I've not seen this before. I'm, what's wild? <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Woo! Nonetheless, that's going to send us into left field. So left field Silver Slugger here is going to go to... Franklin DeMars. So Franklin DeMars takes Silver Slugger out and left, beating out Vida, Eminem, and Brittles. Franklin DeMars taking Silver Slugger and left. That'll send us into center field. Center field Silver Slugger is going to go to Kitty Kitty Goo. Kitty Goo gets Silver Slugger over Gunk Jr., Sholinder, Cove, one of the bajillion Coves, Ishers, and Yaboya. Kitty Goo. Kitty Goo. So Giggity Goo taking Silver Slugger center field. Gonna send us to right field. Right field Silver Slugger is gonna go to Javier Bolivar. Man who's old the world. Beating out another of the coves. Nitro, Broomer, and Steiner.
sold the world for a silver slugger. Indeed. That's going to send us on to designated hitter. Designated hitter silver slugger is going to go to Bone Bearer. Bone Bearer. Bone Bearer beaks out Swerve and James. So Bone Bearer takes designated hitter, Silver Slugger for the minor leagues. Bearer for the Brew City Bears. He bears the bearers. Bearer, bearer of the bears. There's a pun somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just not smart enough to do it. Uh, that's going to send us on to Gold Glove. So back through the infield into the outfield. Gold Glove for the minor leagues. Gold Glove for the minor leagues. Catcher is going to go to Zodiac Blue Sky. Every so often in chat, Zodiac, Zodiac Dar EXE. But Blue Sky takes Gold Glove. Benito, Regis, yes, uh, banana, sorry, Banana Boom, Cove, and Ladley takes, so Blue Sky takes, uh, takes Gold Glove. There's, there's Zodiac. So Blue Sky takes the win. Gonna move us on to first base. First base gold glove is going to go to Josh. Josh beating out John Jacob Jinglehammer Schmidt. <laughs> Wet biscuit and glee and chains. Josh takes win at first base. That's going to move us on to second base gold glove. Second base gold glove is going to go to Shia Miss. Shia Miss is going to be out hard, Ostman, and Kyle. Shia Miss takes Gold Glove at second base. It's going to send us over to third base. Third base Gold Glove is going to go to Corner Vacuum. Vacuum sweeping third base awards there. Taking Silver Slugger and Gold Glove. Vacuum takes Gold Glove over Emeritus, Goose, and Mitchell. It's going to send us to Shortstop. The Shortstop Gold Glove is going to go to Lauren Jackson. Aaron Jackson beats out Dunkin' Donuts, Fast Track, Lewis, and Brooks. So Lauren Jackson takes Gold Glove at shortstop. That's going to send us to left field. Left field Gold Glove is going to go to... Dog and Eminem beating out Brittles, Vida, and Demars. <laughs> I 
Dog and Eminem. Taken Gold Glove and left. It's going to send us into center field. Center field Gold Glove is going to go to Santos Strawberry. Santos Strawberry being out Gunk Jr., Schollender, Ishers, Yaboya, and one of the billion coves. It's a pretty close vote. Yeah, pretty close, pretty close. But Santos Strawberry beats him out. That'll send us into right field. So right field gold glove is going to go to Javier Bolivar sweeping the right field position awards there. Beating out Nitro, Jacob, Brummer, Steiner, and Cove. Bolivar taking um, Silver Slugger and gold glove. That's going to send us on to a designated hitter, Gold Glove. And designated hitter, Gold Glove, is going to go to... Oh, uh, cool. Alexander Benjamin actually gets Gold Glove uh, for the minor leagues. Neato. Rookie of the Year for the minor leagues. One of our new members or new recreates first season in the minor leagues. The rookie of the year for the minor leagues is going to go to Johnny Patey version 2. Barely beating out Hot Dog, Knock, Gunk Jr., Lothbrock, Fresca, uh, Sarah's player. Uh, both the Coves, Steiner, Brummer, Simmons the second, and Rosas. So Johnny Patey the second gets rookie of the year as a starting pitcher. It's gonna send us on to reliever of the year. The reliever of the year for the minor leagues is going to go to the name I cannot pronounce. Project Saints player Hitotsu Yanagi. Hitotsu Yanagi is the best I'm going to do. Beating out Sarah's player, McGroin, Crunk Jr., and Negs. Hitotsu Yanagi. Project Saint taking that reliever of the year. Reliever of the year to Hitatsu Yunagi. It's going to send us to Pitcher of the Year. As usual, relievers are valid to be voted here for Pitcher of the Year, but it usually does not slide that way. So Pitcher of the Year here for the minor leagues is going to go to Crash Jackson. Starting pitcher there for the Flamingos. It'll be out Roy, P. 
Patey version 2, Rove, Thrastarson, Ness, Hitsu, Hitatsunagi, Sarah's player, Rosas, and Nock. Crash Jackson taking picture of the year there for the minor leagues. It's going to send us on to MVP. MVP for the minor leagues. Why do you announce it as Sarah's player? Because I don't know the name. I literally don't know anything other than it says Gaslight. I don't know the rest of the player's name, but I know that Sarah's player. MVP for the minor leagues is... LBG himself, my name to Mr. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, taking MVP for the minor leagues. Going to beat out Vita, DeMars, uh, Ray Card, Jackson, Roy, Banana and Boom, Nitro, Josh, and Knock. Gatekeep Girl Boss, understood. I just did not know that off the top of my head. But John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt takes MVP for the Hepcats. And that is going to send us on to the GM of the Year Award. GMs of the Year for the minor leagues are going to go to Kansas City. It's going to go to DeGumpa and Bauer for the two GMs of the Year for the minor leagues. Oh, wait. Tied with State College is Kansas City. And while I am in no official capacity to do this, I am going to split the awards from Kansas City and State College. So it's going to go to all of Dagumba, Bauer, Anik, and Unconfident. So I'm just splitting the award four ways. You all get it going to beat out Louisville, Chicago, California, and Florida for GM of the year. Uh, how do they decide tiebreaker? I don't really think we do. Um, I'm just splitting it myself because I'm the one doing the stream. So, Unconfident, Anik, Takumpa, and Bauer all receive GM of the year this season. I do think it is, you know, State College goes from kind of a perennial maybe making the playoffs sometime to winning the World Series in one season <laughs> and does not get like unanimous GM of the year. I think it's a little weird. But um I don't get to vote for the minor league, so haha. -ha. GM of the year, Dagoompa Bauer and Unconfident Anik. With that said, we move along, I believe, to most dedicated member from here. Most dedicated member is generally the person, uh, we are, are a list of people that are not promoted, but um, kind of put forward by GMs, by job heads, um, just a list of people who have done a lot in this league and we want to every season just give them a bit of a shout out for having done some amazing work. So I believe next is most dedicated member. And that is going to go to Poe. Very interesting pick, but I think a good one nonetheless. Poe 
for, <laughs> as it says there, having invented fantasy sports. <laughs> um, but overseas, the fantasy sport league um, is huge right now in updating the file <clears throat> for <clears throat> all of our, all of my streamers and myself to not have to worry about that. Uh, Poe, longtime member of HO for 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 a time, <clears throat> pretty much has done fantasy since it was created in our league and still oversees it every single day. Uh, so Poe, definitely, definitely um, worthy of most dedicated member here. Lord Parquad, um, currently a member of the Prospect Showcase League. Leatherneck Mike also standing up to uh, do some file updating. Juosu, just an amazing GM. Lumosity fan, GM, and co-host, and recently promoted to two streamer. You guys should be seeing some fun stuff this season with that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Gordon Pompey does off the top of my head, nor do I know what uh, Dahad Skier, Zodiac, uh, Carv I think Carvaggio is an updater. Uh, Bo Sox is a GM, Sen is a GM, Benny the Jet is co-host, and now GM, um, Knight, Subby, Beta, and Seb. And as as I move on to the next screen, um, you all can throw in what, what all of these players do, give them some shout-outs, because I do not off the top of my head know every single person in this league or what they do. So, uh, congratulations to Poe for, for winning Most Dedicated Member. I'm going to move on to the Emmy Award. So the Emmy Award is very similar in Most Dedicated Member, but very specifically looking at those that reach out to <clears throat> our rookies, those that kind of put a good face on the league as uh, for minor league players or for rookies, and uh, seeing how how they present themselves to make the league look good. So very, very similar to Most Dedicated Member, but specifically for reach out to our minor leagues and our rookies. That is going to go to T Souls for the Emmy Memorial Award winner. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> his thing here says voted most likely to write for ESPN in high school, which I have a feeling is maybe actually true. Uh, but T Souls is a, as of this season, going to be a new co host as well. Um, up there with Nergy, Double Dub, Sarah. Orbiting Death, Stumanji, Swaggy Eagle, and Shaq. So congratulations to everyone here getting all of their player awards, all of their personal awards. Um, congratulations to everyone for that. With that, I believe that is the end of this showcase. As usual, I think uh, Sonic leaves us with a nice little message. Here we go. So from Sonic saying, Many thanks to all the hard work our various teams do during the postseason. Let you guys, these few weeks would be the most boring times in the PBE. Understood. Huge shout out for me for being our designated award streamer. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Sonic. I appreciate it. Seems like we've been doing this for ages. Ain't that the truth? Sonic and I have been teaming up on this. He makes the award showcase. I present it to you all. We have been doing this for who knows how long. Um. So yeah, thank you. I'll I'll shout the same thing as Sonic here. Thank you guys for another good season. We're gonna start S thirty nine this week with some spring training. Yeah, uh, but yeah, very fun stuff. Very very fun. So another season down, another award showcase completed. We will move on to spring training this week and move along with the season. So make sure you guys get your updates in. Uh, they were technically due two hours ago, but you can still get them in and maybe contact your updater. Make sure to purchase your equipment that is available as of this week. Make sure you do your updates. Make sure you are ready to go for spring training and for this season starting next week. So let's go. Let's start season 39 officially with the end of this stream. See you guys later this season. <laughs>